We're now live. Good morning, ladies together and gentlemen. Again. To together again. To the left. Left. <laughs> left. Tom's practicing left. his left to right. To the right. You right. need to know that Tom right. decided that right. his attire would reflect some kind of yoga. Namaste. All right. He chose Namaste. it all from the studio. Namaste. These things are available to buy. We could become Namaste. that shop that allows us to be open. So today Good is. Morning. Tanya and Tom Friday. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, we're ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to boot camp. Let us know you're here because well, we're here. Welcome it's, to the boot camp. It's boot camp time. Absolutely, <laughs> um, We're sure you've missed us in this um, last week or so. Um, good morning, Janine, and good morning, Steve. And good let's hope that that means Kate is watching too. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're here to entertain we're on the you. March. Good morning, Jane. We're on the march. Tom's going to do the marching. Tom, I'll can be... you read at the same time as marching? Yes, I can, Lorna. Good morning, Lorna. Good morning, Jane. I like it. So despite so... the poor weather, Tom's sunglasses are still in place. The he... only ones that fit me when I'm cycling. He came in the rain. Absolutely. Good morning, ladies Absolutely. and gentlemen. Good morning, Jane. He also can't stand still. He's got this thing called ADHD. Okay. And good morning, Susan. I have Susie. to live with this all the time. Go, Whichever Susie. way. <laughs> Good morning, Mena. Good you morning, Donna. I'm going to pop my glass on. Good morning, and Sarah. And Sarah. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Janine Elizabeth Goulding. <laughs> good morning, Diane Richardson. Um, no tomatoes this morning. Tom's good morning, actually Ken. going to teach you this morning. Yes, absolutely. They're going to teach us to march. Anne, hello there. Good morning, Anne Barron. Good morning, Donna Lyons. Okay, we've already said hello I'm to sorry, Donna. Sorry, I didn't know. I'm Did sorry. you not? Are you listening? Yes, I am. Okay. So today we're going to do a quite a decent workout. Good morning, Rach. Good morning, Rachel. We're going to do quite a decent workout. Tom's going to get rid of all his stuff. Do you like our new head pads? We've got new head pads. They're black. COVID friendly. <laughs> COVID friendly. <laughs> Put them down. You remembered. What? <laughs> Diane, don't you be so cheeky. Oops. No. Bonjour. Not in French mode. Okay. Comment ça va? Ça va bien, Oh! Okay. Right, Tom, let's get going. Yeah, okay, Mary. people, we're going to get going. Tom's going to put down all the stuff that he's trashed from my studio. You need to know that since I saw you last, our studio flooded. So when I came in on Sunday, I was going to do some videoing because it's quiet in here. I came into water. It was a really wonderful experience, and my brain just decided to melt into the water. It was horrible. Anyway, the studio, courtesy of a cleaner, is now looking Thank a you, whole Carrie. lot better. Thank you, Carrie. Good job, Carrie. Uh, we've soaked up lots of our water, and we're just glad to be here again. Let's get to this workout. You're going to start with the, look, the standing position. So, Tom, go over to there like I described in our prep. May we? Um, I'm going to get rid of my glasses because I'm tired of wearing glasses. You stand with your feet relatively parallel, remember that, fist width apart. Loads of you have been doing videos, so we're very happy. Thomas, behave. Put your hands across your chest, like so. With your hands across your chest, pull your elbows down, and stand by in the centre part of your mat, Tom, as in line yourself up with the visual aids that you have. Finding your squats, inhale down, and exhale your back up. As you lower and lift, in and out of your squat, you're learning to not throw your chest backwards when you lift up. So pull your hands against your chest and your chest against your hands. Allowing the hips to hinge, the knees to bend and the ankles to flex. Don't throw your hips forward. Breathing me, in as you go down, Don't throw your hips breathing forward. out as you stand. That's pretty breathing good, isn't it? in as you go down Do you see that? and go down to stay. Do you see that? You've got your hands across your chest and you're trying to tune Tom out of your ears. Shoulder blades are drawn down the back, the chin is nodded. Ready for your pelvic tilt. I don't like this. Breath out and pelvic floor only then, Tom. There you go. And if the pelvic floor leads to tiny flexion at the lower back, then it means you weren't already in imprint. I'm there. Exhale, use only the pelvic floor as your first sensation. I'm there. And breath to take the pelvis back to oh, neutral. That's cool. So the pelvic bones, pelvic yeah. floor. I'm in there. And neutral. I'm in there, babe. Last time, he's in there. I'm in there, babe. The next time. <laughs> yourself back in neutral stand up oh. now take your arms behind you big breath in thank you sweetie pie exhale shrink the tongue and hinge the hip pull your chin to your throat down and up have your arms reaching Tom. so your hands should be reaching backwards not just by the sides the arms is um, making the upper back activate Chest whilst forward. your breath keeps reaching exhaling and inhaling You've got three more before we go down to stay. Um, three. I'm, I make no apology. Two. 
for the fact that this is going to be quite a leg spice Go opener. On, you, babe. Next time we go down, babe, stay. <laughs> in the babe moment, allow your arms to hang. Big breath in, he never calls me babe. Breath out, pull the chin to the throat. Don't tuck your bottom under, but allow your rib cage to bend. Your lower back hasn't tucked under, your legs are bent, your hands go to the floor, your head's looking between your thighs. Breathe out and stretch those legs in, breathe in and bend them. Breath out to extend the legs behind you, inhale and bend. Adding that kind of symmetry and stretch back of the thigh up into the seat bone area. Where did that go? Come on. The next time you bend, you're going to go across your mat and find your plank. Breathe. Well, just because you've got Tom's good... going to stay there because it's you've... too late. Because you've got Breathe. good hamstrings, I don't. If you had your legs bent, it wouldn't matter what your hamstrings were, would it, people? Yeah, you've got okay, hamstrings. people, the next time you breathe out, push your hips high, let your legs bend and look at your knees, Hello, knees. and then walk your hands back to take the heels flat, to let your head hang. And then come up. And then pelvic floor now to spine. Come all the Use way your up. abdominals and to roll your, your spine all the way excellent. back up. Now put your hands to your forehead. Ready for more squats. Tom, take your feet wider. It's a better stable position. With the hands at the forehead, the elbows reach wide. Physically press the forehead and the fingers together. You go down with the breath in. The pelvis really should feel quite parallel now down with the and in. level. Down with the inhale. Push the ground away with the breath out. Inhale, pull the ground to you through your heels. Breathe out, push the ground away from you through your heels. Down you go. Up you go, down we go. The next time down is a stay down moment. So staying down there, big breath in. Staying down, babe. Exhale and pelvic curl and roll your spine shape back up into standing. And inhale down into your squat. Breathe out, use your pelvic floor, shrink the abdominals and find the rolling spine mechanism to come back up. You need to get your chin towards your chest. Inhale, down we go again. This is the last time. Exhaling, pelvic curl. Got Feel it. that bend. Feel that bend. And up. I felt it. Stay, stay where you are. Big breath in. Ooh. Exhaling, find your squat. And now roll head, chin to chest. And hands down to the floor. Big breath in. You're going to find yourself back into your plank position. Oh. So find the plank. Once you've got plank, pull your knees down Find and pull your hips forward. Find the blood. So now three quarters there. So pull your chest forward so over your fingers. From there. You've got your three quarter press. No, we don't. So you're going down and back up. Inhale, bend the elbows, breath out, push the floor away. Breathing in, lowering the chest down, Come breathing on, faster. out. Remember you go forward. Come on, woman. Two more. Come on, woman. Forward you go. Forward you go. And <laughs> Oh, and up. stay. And if you haven't got someone pressing your back down, you'll be fine. People, from this position here, tuck your toes under your feet, let your head look am I, backwards. Am I flat, breathing in? I have no idea what you're doing because you're not listening, so I don't care. <laughs> Breathe. Walk your hands back, 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 back. It's a shame there's not tool for adult men, isn't it? Really? <laughs> breathing yeah, out, that's one of your better ones. One of your better back ones. up. Okay, like people. I can handle that one. You can handle that one. Take your feet wider now. Simply keep them parallel. Simply keep them parallel. But they're parallel wider. At the right, right. From here then, you're going back to hands across your chest. Exhale. Stay. Am I like these going out or just going no, straight back? No, I'm said to stay in parallel. Okay. You know the people that listen and don't talk, they tend to listen to all of the cue, not just the bit that they want. You're down here, your legs bend, and you're going to stay down here. Keeping the intensity, what we call the end range. Am I just moving if my legs? If you're not sure, or... listen to me and I'll tell that, you. Look at that, look at that. If you're not sure what you're doing, Tom and I need a holiday, trust me. If you're not sure what you're doing, the bend increases at the hip yeah, and the knee and the ankle. So it's not, not in the knee. back, not in the back at all. Keep the breath connection with the inhaling and exhaling through the core. And the amplification or activation or increased intensity goes on in the side bottom hamstring glute area and you don't pick up the pace like Tom's just done because I don't know why. Everyone, the next time you're down in that depth of a position, let your arms go to your kneecaps, big breath in. Breathe out, pull your chin to your throat. 
bend the rib cage in half and find yourself going down to the floor with the hands reaching underneath you. We go back into oh, your plank you position. You never told me about this. So you're in plank, <sighs> keep the breath. Push the ground away, you shouldn't have brought your legs together, yeah, pull I'm your sorry. hips forward. Right. Collarbones are wide open, you're pressing with your hands Indeed. and you're pressing with your feet. I'm depressed. You're inhaling and you're depressed. <laughs> inhaling and keep the pressure of the ground away. People do me two more breaths, including Todd, but he's not a person. One more breath. <laughs> and now put your knees to the ground and find all fours. So, knees together, you didn't say that. Now walk your hands backwards. No, this is a cue, knees together. I'm going to move out of Tom's airspace because it's a safer place to be. Your knees are together. We're going to do a stretch here. You're in all fours, you know everything's as it should be. Take your leg nose to the stream out and line it up heel to knee. Oh my word. From this position here, Tom, just to have your hands a bit further forward again, you've yes. moved everything. Yes, dear. From this position, he never says yes dear either. Yes dear. Babe and yes dear, not his language normally. You're gonna bend your elbows and sit your bottom back. If your head stays symmetrical, you, get so far down? you should find that you're in a stretch for your adductors. Oh. Stay where you are, it can go straight through the inner thigh, yes or no, but there's no twist, nothing happening to the spine, and then come back up again. From that position there then, take the hand so the hand nearest your screen and thread, thread the, needle. the needle. Inhale and unthread. Oh, twist my back there. Okay. Exhale, because you just threw yourself under. Just let your head turn and then come back. Just less is more, Tom. Okay. To keep going while I coach Tom. Why do we go into my back? Why? Because you're all twisted. Take this a little further. You never calm down. <laughs> Put your hands here. All right, the thread the needle moment. Just turn your head head only and then come back that's all you can do that's rubbish i can do this well don't there yeah, that's as far as you want to go otherwise you end up twisting from here correct if you feel it in your back you're simply throwing your whole body under hoping that you've got more range but See, you haven't that, but that was educational yeah if you listen to me it's all educational <laughs> <laughs> okay people we have two sides <laughs> I do all this okay on, on the video. Yeah, right yeah, that's why you don't do Zoom, so people can't see you. In the other side, you've taken your leg out, you bend your elbows. The symmetry of the position, so Tom... I love it. Can you, it you've got to feel that everything's level. Both sit bones pull back equally. I'm staying down here, Tom's the one that keeps moving, so stay down there if you're happy to. In other words, do what you want if you want to follow Tom. If you want a teacher to teach your body, then copy me. You stay in position, breathe. I'm just looking what you're doing. And then come back. We're now ready to thread the needle. Thread the needle starts with the hand of the same leg coming off the ground. I'm going to suggest you put it in your chest area. Now turn the head. And if turning the head isn't uncomfortable in the lower back, rotate the shoulders. It's now only it the, the shoulders. The breathe. Thigh. Exhale, turn the head, the armpit. You're not moving forwards or backwards in terms of your all four setup. You're rotating with a kind of symmetry, horizontal type of corkscrew effect. Got that. Okay, people, the next time you're going to put both hands in place, pull the knees together, tuck your toes under your feet, and up your walk till you find yourself back into your standing position. Oh Let your head go, head go, head go. Whoops. Find yourself in the middle of the mat now. That was rubbish, Tom. It was rubbish, Tom. Tom, listen to the teacher. Centre of your mat. You're in the middle of the mat. Have your feet, actually, have your feet closer than normal. Go to your squat. In the squat, you know that you've got your knees backwards, um, off the toes. You find your squat position. Put your hands on your hip bones. Shrink the tongue. Do three or four setting breaths. That, that means that you're tuning in to your trunk stability. Trunk. Collarbones are wide open. Trunk stability. Now, peel the left foot off to tiptoes. Leave it in tiptoes and step it to the side. And then put your left hand to your opposite knee. Stay where you are. You've got to keep your trunk. You're going to pull that leg together and push that leg away. Pull it in, push it away. This is waking up your side, bum, bottom, abductor area. And as long as the knee doesn't go forwards, off your toes, you're working well. You've got working four well. more. Inhaling and exhaling. 
By keeping your hands connected, it should help you give you a reference point for your trunk. If you want to copy Tom, he's doing a bit of the two-step, Tom step. You've got one more of these, and the next time you pull the legs together, level them up and stand up. Are you ready? Back right, into your squat. Right down the glute and hamstring. Take the other leg out. We didn't lift our put toe. Put your other hand across. We didn't lift our toe. And then push it out. Okay. Hand over here. Hand over here, breathe. Shoulders, collarbones, inhaling and exhaling. Everyone can do this move. What you can't always do is breathe life and stability into the pelvic area, which stabilizes the trunk. Use these moments to find the right flow of trunk stabilization, which is Pilates core work, along with the legs working as they could and should, waking up the stabilizers on the other side. Totally different People, the next time you come back with the legs together, yeah, stand up. We're gonna go back into the squat. This now moves on. Go back to taking your opposite side out and now make that leg straight and ground it. Can you see how I've got my feet flat? My feet are parallel, my legs are level with each other. We're going to take it to a stand and go back to where you had. You've now got the push and pull going on if you want to have your hand and stand. So knee, remember how we had the hand across the body top? We go across. The other arm, if you take it backwards, it helps counterbalance. As you go, down, don't twist. You're right, I just Ground twisted. yourself, you just did twist. I did and I felt it in my back. There you go. You've got to sit as if it's a squat. Weight goes behind you and weight comes forwards. Behind you and forwards. Down and up. So it's the skater, isn't it? Yeah, it's the skater, isn't it? When we come back to this video, we'll skate please around, God, please. may it be soon, we will be doing skater on the reformer. People, the next time you go down, you're going to stay. So go down and stay. Because you have another leg. Straighten out the leg that Straighten you had. Straighten out the leather leg. Put your arm across. Hit your bum. Put your arm okay, across. Okay, and come up and down. Up. I've got this wrong. <laughs> I've got it wrong too. Yeah, come on. You're going down and up. Down and up. One, two. I have to say, it's very easy to get the wrong leg, as demonstrated ably by myself. You know what's wrong with it, don't you? I've got this all wrong, people. Yeah, because you've got the wrong leg. Keep this leg straight right. <laughs> and stand up like that. You're going the other way now. Have we done this side? Yeah, go back to this way. You know what? I'm completely way. confused as to which leg. No, no, this is right. This is right. This is what you're doing. Copy me. You're bent. You pull into the straight. I've got it finally worked out. You're bent. What about the arm movement straight. thing? So it goes two, three, four. There you go. That shows how easy it is to mash up. And Tom's falling over. We've got three more of oh, these. Not two more. And last time. And stay. stay. Namaste. People, final workout in your leg openers is having your feet now in absolute turnout and turn out there put your hands across your chest as you did earlier and go straight into your wide plie ouch second position squats so tom turn the thighs out you're going to pull them out the journey is about the knees pulling out to the end range turn your feet out more and turn your thighs out the sense of hinging still tom you're using your back you're not using your legs You've got to use your legs to bend, so bend your legs more, bend. People, just put your hands on your hip bones. Go down and stay. Um, when I don't do it right, it goes into my lower back. Yeah, because you're tucking under. Go down and stay and bend your legs more. Okay. Bend your legs more. Bend, breathe. I'll never, I'll never get up if I go any lower. <laughs> Everyone, you're down here and you're allowing oh. your seat to increase the length of muscles going on up into your sit bones. Through the inner thighs. Right. Two more. Got this all wrong. One more. So stand up, Tom. Stand up out of it. Everyone from there, turn oh, I hate this. and face the other way. You've now got your diagonal line. So one foot forwards, the other foot forwards. Breathe and see if you can push the ground away. Don't be silly. And come back. That's impossible for me. So your front leg is bent. 
your back leg is straight, easing forwards and backwards, keeping the trunk stability in place. Are we in there, Tom? Sometimes. Last two. I could do with a stick. Last one, and push all the way up oh. and turn to face centre. Oh, yeah, should turn around now. You should have told me about this. If you came early and stopped talking to the window cleaner, life would have gone well. <laughs> Tom was talking to the window cleaner. Right. You're going to face the other way. Tom, get your back foot up into heel up. Oh, just no, not... heel up. There you go. Okay. Heel up. You lower down and then you push the ground away. So lowering and pushing away. The secret is to keep feeding the breath out, the core area. If you push with the heel of the front leg and the balls of the feet with the back leg, keeping that back leg absolutely straight, you're doing the activity that you're trying to achieve length oh, yeah. and stabilizing with. So Tom's in there, I'm in there. That means it's easy if I'm in there. Are you in there? We're all in there, we're in People, it together. it's your last one. Stay. Please come over this. And then whichever way you want to turn and face your screen and then walk Do those the legs in. Pokey. And you're ready for sitting on your bum. Oh, Jesus. You'll sit about middle of your mat. <laughs> Tom, Tom, was Tom, at, Tom's thought, idea. I thought somebody was at the door. Did you? Yeah. Tom thought this would be great to do this, but can you see how he's whinging and moaning? So, come and bring your feet to the centre. Come to the centre of your mat. Stay with the instructions. Once you're in the centre of your mat, take your spine down. It should have you in the perfect position. Have your legs bent, Tom. If you want to use a head pad, you can. Covid friendly. We have new head pads at the studio with covers. They're rather lovely. Once you're lying down, ah, you night. should be beautifully warm. Have a quick nod, look up at where your legs are and make sure both thigh bones and knee joints are level. Draw your thighs tight together just to establish that. And keep your spine lengthened behind you. Have I got a, ma a Malteser under my back? Are we You've got a that? little Malteser around your lumbar spine. Maybe it's a minstrel for summer or a chocolate button. Depends <coughs> on posture type. Tom, you would have a, a, a chocolate ball. button, not a golf ball, no. <laughs> have your hands across your chest just as we started. This is how we'll continue into abs. Curling on the breath out, pulling your elbows in the direction of your hip bones and uncurling on the breath in. Use your pelvic floor and inhaling back in. My hips are twisted. Exhale, it's pelvic floor nail spine as you roll up and back down. Exhale, curl up and stay. Now reach your hands. Breathe in, two, three, four, and breathe out, two, three, four, and start beating through the arms. You're in a general, um, it's neutral towards imprint, and that's all determined by your posture type. As long as nothing's in your back, you're in a good position. Keep the breath, keep the crown of the head reaching, and keep your arms beating. You've just got four more. In, two, three, four, breathing deep, 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 deep. And out, two, three, four, deep, deep, deep. Okay, people, last time. And then stay and put your hands behind your head. Oh, Inhale, roll the spine down. Exhale, up you come. Next time you come up, you're going to curl and come over and lift one leg up to tabletop. Inhale, lower that leg down and centre the head down. Exhale, as you roll, lift the opposite leg. Don't roll the hips. Breathe in and watch the legs continuously. Exhaling, side roll, side of shoulder. Inhale and back down. Remember that when we do the oblique work, it really is an influence over to one side of the shoulder blade and back down to the center. Exhale, pull one shoulder blade off as you roll in the direction of the thigh, not the side wall. Exhaling. Inhaling. Next time, exhale, curl and stay. Now center the body, hold on to the back of that thigh, bring the hands from the head and pull both legs up into your tabletop. Now staying, put the head down for a moment and create a good imprint of your lumbar. Breathe as deep as you can and physically hold tightly the back of the hamstring area. Your thigh bones are parallel. Got that, I like okay. it. Keep the breath going. Pull the pelvic floor up in a known felt experience. Pull the inner thighs tight in. Breath out then. You'll start to curl 
and send your legs to wherever you're comfortable and breathe in, pull the knees in and then uncurl. Exhale in, start to curl and take the legs to where they want to go. If your shoulder blades don't physically clear the floor, just the base of the shoulder blade, then you need to use more upper body strength as you do this rolling action. Exhaling, never take your eyes off your thighs. Keep the eyes to the knees if you can. And exhaling. And inhaling, you've got two more. And last time. The next time you come back, stay with the legs bent. Now let the right leg go across and away so it's um, horizontal to the floor. Keep the left leg in tabletop and hold the back of the thigh. Take your right hand behind your head. So your right leg is long and reaching, your left leg is tabletop. Exhale and curl and rotate towards that thigh bone that's up in the air and tabletop. Inhale and curl. Keep looking for both legs and then at that time it's cinching in a rotation. The leg that's reaching across the floor is energized. You feel the quad pulling up in the direction of the hip bone. All of your muscles that make up the area between the ribs and the belly button to hip bones knows that it's working. You've won more. Oh, come on. And go down, pull the leg back. Push the other leg out and Ooh. hold on to the thigh. Tom's Ooh. having a break, feel no, free to take on. one. Breath out, we rotate. Breathing in, you go back down. The serious or the significance of this moment here is, is absolute symmetry of the hip bones and all of the energy lands is under the navel, belly button to spine. It's Your clothing. It's a packing fryer tuck. And Fry Tuck over there <laughs> is aware that he's Fry Tuck abdomen <sighs> is because of a lack of um, a lack of core control in his abdominal area. Go on, it's not funny. It's <laughs> Two more. One more. Okay, people, curl, stay, oh, and reach that leg to the ceiling. No. Center the head and. Okay, you're showing off. You're showing off. Again, now. one, two, exhaling. One, two. Are so you, you stay flexed, you you're in imprint, you most yeah. certainly an imprint as you go one, two. It's the leg reaching down, down, as this leg reaches up, up. There's no bounce, Tom, there's a reach. It's a reach, reach. Look, look I'm just doing my reach. best, babe. Last two. Doing my best, babe. Last one. Oh, now God leave your left leg in the air. No. Bend your right leg. Take the head pad away. Exhale and lift into your hip roll bridge. Inhale and back down. The leg that's reaching up in the air. Am I tucking under or what? You're rolling, Tom. Rolling the spine. So okay. you won't tuck under because you tuck under too much. You want to think of lifting your hips up. If you're naturally like Tom, like Diane, you don't want to tuck your bottom under too much because you're already doing that in your real posture. Your sense must be to push the heel to the ground and pull the knee forwards as you lift up. See if that works. Push the ground away. Does that give you a better control? Rather think of rolling the hips. Now, if you're a lordotic, that like works. myself, then you have to absolutely roll the pelvis to get the right emphasis on the right part of the body. See? Um, you've two more teaching moment here, yeah. And you've one more as you press the ground away. Oh come on! And you return back down. Pick up the other leg. He's got another leg. Reach it up. So now we're stretching the hamstring on the leg that was working up with Tom. Push the heel to the ground, and then roll the spine back down in sequence to neutral. Exhale. What a wobble! Remember that the pelvic floor command with the breathing out is still absolutely essential core connect pelvic floor ground pushes away you pull your knee forwards and you roll your spine back down into neutral breathe exhaling up you go inhaling back down breathe exhaling ground up you roll inhaling and down you flow two more 
It's all about recruiting pelvic floor and then the hamstring into the glute. Last time. Come on. And as you come out of that, pull come both on. knees into the chest. You need to stretch. With both knees into the chest, exhale, and you're going to roll up. Today would be good. A little bit of a teaser, I think, going on now. So sitting up tall, big breath you're going, in. You're going to embarrass me now, even more. Exhale, roll up your sit bones and put your hands lightly to the sides of your hips. You've got to now get rib cage. No, don't rest into your hands, Tom, they're light, they're here. So, you want to go in my back. Yes, yeah, so and lean further back. Go onto your forearms here. You go here. Okay, people, follow cut, No, Tom. you do. No. It's okay. I'll... Okay, are you with that? Is yeah, it in no. your back? I know it'll hurt now. If you felt it was in your back, copy Tom on his forearms, but don't completely rest there. Otherwise, breath out, straighten out your right leg, breath in and bend it. Exhale the other leg. Inhale and bend. Am I tucked under This should not? go, you've got a connection. Okay. Think of front lift. This should go straight to the flexor and the oblique, the area from hip bone I'm going to, try it now. to hip bone. So have your hands out here if it helps. Yeah. People, the next time, so Tom, you keep doing it like this. If you're winning and it's going to all the right areas, then the next time you're going to let one leg lift up and then lower it down and return. Let the other leg lift, lower and slide it back. Lift, lower. Now the measure for slide lift back. is extend, lift. keeping both thighs lower. together slide and back. slide back. Lift. Lower. Drive it away and Slide back. back. Now listen. Lift. Take the leg straight. Take the other leg straight. No and way. come back. No. Leg. Lift. Leg. Lower. And return. No, I can. One. One. Two. No, I can. And return. Do it in my back. So do what we're doing before. Like I said. I said if you're fine. Lift. Why is it? Some Lower. people don't listen to a word back. you say. Because I'm, I'm, I'm feeling my body. It's mind body this stuff. It's like doing scissors. I was just getting the lower and back. Lift, lower. So you keep doing that because that's your level. Oh. Tom's oh. illustrating, he's found his level, and the disciplined disciple student of Pilates will stay with what is their level and not just try and do what they want to do but Nurse, can't do. Nurseries are back open. <laughs> okay, everyone, let that go. Stretch your legs out. And forwards bend the rib cage part of the spine and let your head drop down. Breathe as deep as you can in this shape here, inhaling and exhaling, giving yourself a huge stretch. And to finish off, because we Did need I to stretch the, the quads, Did yeah, I Tom, the Tom's desperate that we finish. Oh, yes. <laughs> Kneel up, Tom. We'll finish with your kneeling stretch for your quads, your thighs. Have your thighs parallel. Parallel. Crown your head to the ceiling, organise your clothing, oh. and don't rest on my shoulder. Okay, let's go down, let's go down the aisle. Right, okay, we're going to go lean back. Lean back. Pull forward. And forwards. Come on. <laughs> lean back, take the hand back to your ankle, and forwards. And what, where's the breath? That yeah. backwards lean, if you let me, that backwards lean is pelvic floor navel to spine. The pubis feels as though it's reaching up under the navel. Your collarbones are wide open, and if you want to have your hands crisscross again, you could. The backwards lean will give you the quad stretch. Love it. Let's take it, if you want to move on from this level, the next level is one hand going up, one hand to your heel, and that increase of length. And again, lean, reach, and return. You set up the backwards lean, then you split. Resisting twist last time. Set up the backwards lean. And when you return, <sighs> let that be enough. Okay? How was that? That was amazing. We're not doing so, hip circles. We're not doing anything else because Tom's doing, had enough. We're doing hip circles? No, you don't want to do anything else. We're doing flying on tummy or? No, we're finished. Oh, excellent. Okay, people, we just thought we'd say a big hello to you. Yes, we kind of miss this whole environment, or we'd rather it was the studio. Um, have a look on your WhatsApp feeds because I'm going to be announcing the fact that we clearly, despite all of my effort, won't be allowed to open on the 6th of July. Everyone that's paid, which is many of you, that money will just stay absolutely still, nothing will happen to it. 
Um, next week I'm going to take properly with Tom a week off. Um, do no work whatsoever in reality. Um, the week starting the 13th, assuming we still can't open, we'll go straight back into Zoom and um, live videos or Facebook Live or some form of videoing because I have been learning new video skills ready for something else. Anyway, watch your Facebook and watch your WhatsApp and look out for the announcements that are really, really clear. And apart from that, have a great day. We've loved having this moment again. And we may have this moment again next Friday. Ooh. Keep a look out um, because we want to kind of be with you. We're all in the same position, not being able to do what we desperately want to do. Correct. And um, that's hard, but it is what it is. Okay, please, if you're going to go to a bar or a pub or a restaurant, please stay safe, stay alert <laughs> and be COVID safe. Or a hairdresser. Or, or a hairdresser even. Just make sure that you're safe. Enjoy what you can of life amidst this rainy moment. And it's a goodbye from me. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. And have a great weekend. Okay, okay? Bye -bye. we're going to say goodbye by switching off. <laughs>